Sometimes you will want to prevent an object from moving, rotating, or scaling, and you might want to prevent it from doing those transforms in particular axes. And to do that, we can lock the transforms. That's pretty helpful because, for example, an elbow has only one degree of freedom. It can rotate in one axis only. An elbow is able to rotate, in this case, only around the x-axis. We grab the rotate tool. We could see that the x-axis is the elbow joint. An elbow is not able to bend in these other directions, and it technically cannot swivel like this. We actually can rotate our wrist relative to our elbow, but that's because we have actually two bones inside there, a radius and ulna. So in this simple example here, we only want to rotate in one axis, which is x. Let's see how to lock transforms for an object. That's done from the hierarchy panel. Go over to the command panel, click on hierarchy, and the default panel is pivot, but you want to go to link info. And here you've got all of your locks. And in fact, we want to lock the position for all of these objects except for the pelvis here. Okay, because I never want to move these objects away from their parents. That's never going to happen. I'm going to select all of this stuff. And then Alt select or unselect the pelvis. And it's now not selected. You can go over to our link info panel and enable locks for all of the move and all of the scale transforms. Checkbox all of those on. Now when I select an object and then try to move it, it won't move. Additionally, if I switch my coordinate system over to local, interestingly, notice that our transform gizmo completely disappeared. In local coordinate space up here, the transform gizmo will gray out or hide the locked transforms. For example, if I go over here and re-enable X, now we see an X arrow only. That only works in local mode. Yeah, I'll re-enable that. We also want to lock certain axes of rotation for the elbow and knee objects. I'll select both of the elbows. And then back in our locks here, I'm just going to lock Y and Z. We can now only rotate around the X axis. Select, go to the Rotate tool. And if you're in gimbal mode, it will display all three of the axes. If you switch over to local mode, it'll show just only the axis that's not locked. I do recommend that you work in gimbal mode. The locks are still in place, even though it looks like we can rotate around Y and Z. We actually can't. If I click on the Y axis here and drag, it'll actually rotate around X because that's the only active transform. All right, cool. So same thing down here, these knees, I only want those to rotate in X. I can select both of those and disable their rotations around Y and Z. Okay, so we can use these link info locks in multiple contexts, not just for hierarchies. A common usage for this would be to lock a camera down so that you don't accidentally move it in the viewport. Cool, so that's all about locking transforms.